one of those fall days, y'all. Good morning, everybody. I have not fixed my hair yet, so just ignore that. Um, be it, oh my God, it smells so good in here because that candle. Let me just mute the television. Pure Later just got here with one of Blake's um, Thanksgiving outfits. I got her a couple. You stuck? I got her a couple outfits because we have like two Thanksgivings and she needs more like 18 month clothes. By the way, I know I'm gonna get questions on this sweater. Um, I'm still in my pajama bottom, so ignore that. But this is from Dottie Couture Boutique which I love. The only thing that sucks is um, I had to pay $25 in duty, which I didn't know at the time of purchasing, but it was on sale. Um, I'll show you guys. So it's like, this is a medium. I got a medium cause you know, growing belly and it's longer at the back and then it's got these ties at the back and it's super cute. The only thing is, um, it's supposed to be a mustard yellow, and to me it's more like a rusty orange, but that's okay. I still really like it. So I'll show you guys Blake's outfit. Yeah, baby, and I'll actually show you her today. She has her new shirt on that I showed in my last haul. The snuggle is real from Carter's, 18 month, but it's too big on her, but Mama. yes, sweetheart. And she's rocking the natural hair today. <laughs> and her little pants with the elephant. Where's the booty? Elephant on the booty. Yeah, that's your belly. You're so cute. I just love you. First, we have this uh, 12 to 18 month size top. It has a little, hopefully that's just water, not grease. Mark on it. This is from Zara. Yeah, and it's a mustard yellow. And wait until you see the pants. These are the pants. Are these not so cute? They have a little drawstring. They look a little, they're gonna be too big on her, uh, but that's okay. And it's got little, like, all the fall colors and pine cones and leaves and stuff. So, is that not so cute? I love Zara's baby clothes. They have the cutest stuff. This looks like it might be a bit big on her, but I also have two outfits from Old Navy that I'll show you guys upstairs later. So today is ultrasound day, and I'm so excited. So, you guys will find out today if I'm having one baby or two or three or whatever. Um, I still think it's just one. Colin swears it's two. We will see. <laughs> but I'll show you guys her other Thanksgiving opciones. I don't know why I said it like that. So I should I should show you the pants first because they're really cute. These are her new jeans. They're just kind of like a light wash from Old Navy jeggings. And this is what sold me. The little zipper on the ankle. I thought that was so cute. And Old Navy has adorable baby stuff and toddler clothes and they're super cheap. Um, so I got her those and she's either, she just shut the door. <laughs> you shutting the door? She loves getting her books out and reading. She is either going to wear this wine colored top with this pink vest because I thought that would look really cute with her little jeans. And then I got two new hair bows for her. Um, they're right here. Or she's gonna wear the outfit that I showed you from Zara. So then I also got this floral head bow, or this, seriously you guys, having a girl is so much freaking fun. I think this one matches a bit better, but this one would be really cute too, just for a pop of like ivory. Is that your book? Mom, okay, mommy will read it in a second, honey. And then this is the other option. This is a dress from Old Navy, again with the mustard yellow. And I thought of just putting little tights on her. And I know this is like pale pink, but I still think that goes. Maybe not on camera, but I still think it looks kind of cute. If not, I'll just do the dress with maybe a little sweater and maybe like that bow. I don't know, but those are her options, and they're so cute. I have to go read her a book now. Cow says moo. A sheep says ba. Three singing pigs say la la la. No, no, you say that isn't right. The pig says oink all day and night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oink. Mm -hmm. Rhinoceroses snort and snuff, and little dogs go ruff ruff ruff. Couple of hungry girls. It's only 11:30, but 
actually we typically whoops sorry we typically now eat lunch around like 11 30. you guys that's why i forgot to tell you she took her morning nap today only for 45 minutes but still she napped she talked to herself for half an hour i left her she fell asleep hallelujah i really need to fix my hair hi princess you look like your daddy. Yeah, you look like, well, she looks like me, but she's got Colin's eyes. Where's Blakey? There she is. B and I are starting off her lunch with some apple, and I've got my piece too. And then we'll just wing it. She's got some cheese and some cucumber, and I just cut up the apple for her. Then I gave her, it looks gross, but it's really good, um, a cherry, what is this? It is a Odie Chops Love Child Organics Cherry and Spinach Granola Bar. And I'm making Colin some paninis because he's coming for lunch so I can go to my appointment. Oh yeah. I'm a good wife. Now she's having an oatmeal cookie. They taste just like those dad's cookies, um, but it's the Great Value brand from Walmart. They're really good. Mommy's going to have one too. You guys. My boobs, they might not look that big on camera. This is not a push-up bra. My boobs are huge. With Blake, they um, they gradually got bigger, and then this time it's like, pfft, like they just got huge, and Colin's like loving it. And he's like, you need to stay pregnant so your boobs can be like this. Like they are massive. Like I don't even know what to do with them. Not a clue. I'm putting on some lip gloss. This is CoverGirl. Um, colorlicious and juicy fruit. Vlogging problems. It's quite pretty. It's a natural, like, rosy color. I just hate the taste of them, but it's a really pretty rosy, pinky shade. Let's go see what the little munchki poo's doing. I still haven't changed my pants. What is she doing? What do you, what do you see? I haven't made my bed. What do you see? <gasps> outside? You see outside? Wow. She loves standing here and looking out the window. Boop. There you go. And she takes that little knob off the thing to open the window. It's pretty funny. <gasps> Say bango. I also, I vacuumed the hole upstairs today so it's nice and clean and it makes me happy. Baby. So I just filmed my first 12 week pregnancy vlog because y'all, I'm busy with a toddler. My hair looks white, it's just the lighting. B is playing over here and if you watch that video, I don't even know if it's going to be up yet, probably not. Mm -mm. No, this will be up first. She took her pants off in the middle of the video. She's so cute. I am obsessed with her. And she's just playing with all my jewelry and she's climbing over pillows and like rolling around and stuff. But yeah, my appointment is coming up. Uh, yeah, you took off your pants. Where did your pants? I have to actually see what time it is. Uh, your pants. <laughs> um, so it's 1230. <laughs> Danielle, if you're watching this, I don't know if that's going to focus, but she put in all caps, my friend Danielle, Danielle Nichols, you need to follow her on YouTube. Oh my God, it's appointment day. <laughs> I love her. Her and Lauren are like my, and Rochelle, I love you too, Rochelle. Sorry, I love my girls, my YouTube girls, Lauren Ashley, Danielle Nichols, Rochelle, Marie. I love all three. I love them. Love them. They are great women. And they're super, why I like them too is they're super real. I kind of feel like sometimes, not all the time, but there are some bigger channels. I'm not going to like name names and not all of them are, but a lot of bigger channels, um, they're not as real or they're more like, they become more like materialistic. Like, I don't know, saying things like, oh, so... My son's wearing his Michael Kors boots today and like stuff like that. And I'm like, no one cares if your child's got Michael Kors boots or not. It doesn't matter. Blake has clothes from Walmart and they're super cute. <laughs> what are you doing? 
like I don't know it's just like a lot of name dropping of like fancier things and they just don't seem as real not all of them Anna Sacone I love her she is so real she always keeps it real she's probably the realest youtuber actually I think because she even showed like when she was in labor like she showed like even more than I'd be comfortable with but she I love her for it she's amazing um so I really like her and it's not all channels but I do find a lot of channels can be kind of not as real or they let like material things get to their head and that's why I love these three girls so much because I don't know they're just super real and they tell it how it is and you know it's just I don't know it's refreshing and I kind of like smaller channels I like the more old school vlogs I don't really like all this fancy editing stuff I don't know let me know if you guys like that stuff down below in the comments I personally hate it I don't I mean sometimes they're cool but I prefer just the old school like the Lauren Binet style vlogs you know what I mean or the old like um well actually even current um Allison Barr from Raising the Bars her older vlogs, I still watch them. I watch them all back. I like she's like my OG. I love her. And I just miss like the old school kind of hi more intimate vlogging as opposed to all these fancy edits and like stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm a long enough rant. Yeah, you took off your pants. Mommy will put them on. She took them off. I have to go for my appointment soon. I gotta put on pants because I'm still in my pajamas, so. So, I just got back from my ultrasound appointment. I'll show you the picture downstairs, but we have one healthy baby. Not twins, just one baby. I'm super happy and blessed, and baby's heart rate was 169 beats per minute. He or she was sleeping, and just looks so cute. I was like, oh my god. So, eight more weeks, and we can find out the gender. Um, my mother-in-law's coming soon because I have to go to work, so I'm just touching up my face, even though it's pretty touched up. Uh, one thing I wanted to share with you guys, my new Holy Grail Drugstore Full Coverage Foundation. Thank you, Amanda Ensing, for recommending it. Super Stay Full Coverage 24-Hour. This is full, full coverage. I'm in the shade Warm Nude, and it's beautiful. Full coverage, matte, makes you look perfect all day. I freaking love this stuff. So I'll show you guys the ultrasound picture, a little clip at the end of this video, but I do have to go. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So there's the little peanut. Ah. There's the little peanut.